nuclear medicine is really critical for our patients. It's a diagnostic test uh, that is very helpful in cancer diagnosis, orthopedics. Um, they, we use a radioactive pharmaceutical. So it's different than an x-ray really. It, um, it actually, when you're looking at an image or an organ, you can actually visualize the functionality of it as opposed to a static x-ray. Mm. And uh, so it is extremely important um, uh, and up-to-date technology that we need here in Muskoka. Harrison says the new equipment requires a new addition to the current hospital building because of the lack of space in the aging facility. Well, space is uh, an issue at, at our hospital and so the technology that we need and the special construction that we need um, so we can advance and, and make room for this uh, technology. There's also a control room um, that is new that we don't have now mm -hmm. that actually helps protect the providers so that they have their own area to be able to perform the test and, and be away from the radioactive material basically. The Sprott Foundation uh, were the impetus of the nuclear med camera um, purchase and the reason uh, why they chose that is because it is so top of the line and, and it really impacts so many different areas of healthcare. And our um, current uh, machine is getting end of life. It's over 10 years old, so this new machine has a lot more functions on it and can do a better job. We currently do 2,000 nuclear medicine tests um, to date, mm -hmm. and, um, and we have a waiting list. So the new technology will actually help us do the test quicker. Mm -hmm. So we will likely do more than that, um, but people will be able to have a, a higher technology, and we might actually get them in and out sooner, which is always important for our, our patients.